Hey RV Calvary, it's Lauren here. Bob's behind the camera, so you're not gonna see much of him on this video, but we did wanna show you what um, I've done to the inside of the 265 bunkhouse from our Transcend Grand Design unit. So this section over here, this is the left-hand side. Once you come in the door, we've got the two bunks. The top one is our 16-year-old daughter uses this. The bottom one, Bob will get a picture of that in a second, that is strictly for our dog. Yes, he has the whole bottom bunk. Over here we have the little closet. I put in a little four tier shelving unit. Um, our daughter doesn't really use it. She just keeps her stuff in the duffel bag for now. Someday it'll get utilized, but for now we have it. If anybody happens to come spend the night, whatever, they've got a little place for their closet. Down below in the cubbies, I just picked up some baskets in case we needed extra space. If people wanted to throw some stuff in there, it's kind of hidden out of the way on the two drawers for the stairs. That top drawer, I keep all of the extra sheets for any of the bunks or for the jackknife. That's what's in there. Down below is our hodgepodge drawer. Right now we have the electric leveler that we have. We don't really like it, so it just kind of stays in there. And then that's just some paperwork from some other campsites that we've made notes on. We do have a notebook that we keep, but it's currently at home because we try to keep um, more better notes, Excel sheets, kind of we do a grading system. Bob can do another video of that later. And that's what we have here. This um, sofa here, it's called a jackknife sofa. So it literally pulls up and out and you have roughly a double full-size bed, not quite, but comfortable for any one person to sleep on. So down over here in this corner, this is Opie's little section, his toys, the towels are if it happens to be raining when he's out for a walk so we can wipe him off before he comes in. Over here, we chose the U dinette. This unit, you do have a choice between the U dinette and the theater seating. We did the U dinette just because there's a usually four or five people that come with us and we just found it a better pick and more useful. We actually do use it. Um, it's even good on rainy days. You can kind of lounge out, watch the TV. That's what we do with it. And then over here, this is just the fridge, nothing fancy. Um, we have figured out how to, we turn the unit on before we leave and then once we go to leave, we have figured out how to get the propane running so that way when we're traveling down the road, anything that I have loaded in the freezer or the refrigerator stays cool. The trick, you turn the propane on, turn the burner on on the stove, you let it run for a little bit and then you put the propane on on the freezer, works like a charm. Over here is the kitchen. There's nothing really fancy. We do like coffee. I went with the Keurig. It's just easy. Pop in the little K-cup and push the button and you've got coffee. I can do it. Madison can make her hot chocolate. Every once in a while, she'll do some, some coffee up in here. I don't have it really stocked, so please forgive me. This is where I keep any potato chips, bread, any of the kind of snack stuff. That all goes in here, put it in before we leave and shut the cabinets and we're good to go. So in here, I just keep our cups and plates and bowls. The plates and bowls are not fancy. Those were the 50 cent Walmart plates, cups, bowls that you could find. I didn't want to do the Corel, that kind of thing. I wanted to try to keep it as light as possible, not to add any unnecessary weight. Um, and I'll try to put links. They know they change out the colors every now and then, so we'll see. Um, we each have a cup like this. Bob's got a bigger one. It's just something that we can put ice in, stays cool while we're outside because we are in Florida and it does get crazy hot and it's not even summertime yet. Adult beverages in that baby. Um, I do so keep <laughs> red solo cups. <laughs> I do keep on um, plastic cups just because depending on the kind of site we have, if we have full hookups, I'm not really worried about it because Bob can drain the gray water once I get full. But when we're at our state parks and some of those, when I'm limited, plastic cups, paper plates, less water, less work for Bob to have to drain into our little tote thing that we have so he can go drain the water. Then we just have the regular microwave, um, the stove and the oven. 
and I have to be honest with you guys, I was so stoked. I always said, I want an oven, I want an oven. But in reality, I really don't need the oven. You can't bake a whole lot. I was thinking, oh yeah, we could do a roast or something like that. No, let me show you. You're not fitting a chicken or a roast and anything in there. We're going to try muffins, maybe. Um, we're going camping 4th of July weekend. I'm going to try to do some muffins one morning there. You're pretty limited. Pizzas, that type of thing, you're okay. To do a dinner dinner, not so much. We use a roaster for that. Yeah. We have an um, electric roaster. Up here is just this space. I'm not sure what other people have put in here. I just have some of these bigger bowls that I use, whether we've made potato salad to put it in for serving places. And then I just have another big plate that we put, like once Bob pulls hot dogs or whatever we're doing on the grill or the Blackstone, we'll just, I'll just throw it on this. Here are my spices slash food container. I just have odds and ends spices that are in here. When we travel, I do push everything back and push this bar up. Once we get to our destination, I do pull them forward because it's just a little bit easier, actually a lot easier to find the spices and stuff that you need. The same goes for this. When we do travel, I do take out the olive oil and put it in a plastic bag and put it down below. And I'll show you that in um, a different video when I show you where everything goes when we're getting ready to hit the road. On in here, we have two drawers. They're pretty decent size. One of them is a junk drawer, but it's an organized junk drawer. I found these little dividers. There's all kinds of different stuff. I have our like campfire lighters, all our remote controls, different tape that you might need, scissors, pens. I have um, tons of little poop bags for our friend, extra batteries, anything that we don't know where it goes to, like this little thing. Found it during the video, not sure what it goes to, but don't want to throw it away. So it's just going to go in the drawer because it's going to be that thing like, ooh, and then now we know where it is. The silverware I did buy a silver a divider and kind of just divided up the thing. These are the sharp knives, regular knives, our little cooking things, can opener, wine opener, steak knives, got some metal straws. Garlic stripper. A garlic stripper that's actually really cool you bit the whole garlic and you put the clove in there and you rub it on the counter and you bang it out and your peel is in one hand and your unpeeled garlic clove is ready to go so down here is kind of where i keep the bakeware and you do have to buy special bakeware for the oven because it's not a regular size so I'm kind of excited to try these little muffin pans 4th of July weekend to see how it all turns out and before I shot this video I did buy this liner just to kind of help with keeping if something were to drip or leak whatever just to keep the wood a little bit safer and cleaner I figured this would be a lot easier to clean if I ever had to and then over here, I just have our napkins. These are the little pop-up containers that go over the food once Bob cooks them outside to keep the bugs off if we don't have our little tent with the screen set up for that. Plastic bags, the aluminum foil, aluminum wrap, and I do keep extra drinks that aren't in the freezer or in the cooler from outside. I just throw them in here. And then also real quick, I forgot to mention down below, I do buy a smaller bag of d dog food that I do bring with it because unfortunately he um, has a couple of allergies so I can't buy just regular dog food at Walmart or any of those stores. So I do buy a smaller bag and I do keep it down below where that water in the gallon of water was. Up above, just picked up this little thing to kind of contain our handy snacks just to keep them at hand so not everybody has to go through the cabinets. And to be honest guys, my family can't open a box of snacks or whatever the right way. You go to pick it, they've done it upside down, it doesn't close right, so just to my aggravation, just pick this up, throw it in, then they can get whatever they want. Here I just got some breakfast stuff, um, crackers, oatmeal cream, cream pies, Cheez-Its. Trying to go easy on the junk food because back in the day it was like junk food galore when we went camping, so I'm trying to limit that. This, um, right now it's empty, but I do bring treats for him because he is spoiled, so his treats go in here and he knows that as soon as that lid comes open, he's getting something. This was just picked up at Walmart, just something cute little kind of, sometimes we use it for a nightlight, sometimes we don't, so it just depends. 
Up here we've got the TV. This is the one that came with the camper, nothing special. Um, we have found that we actually get more channels when we come camping than when we do at home and it's usually free where the cable bill, I'm sure you guys have the same problem, is like astronomical. So it's kind of funny. You can go camping, get 50 million channels, at home you're limited. And HD too. Yeah. So down here, it's just some extra storage that we have in the camper. Um, one thing that we really did like about this camper is all the storage nooks and crannies that you can have. Um, down below for right now, I just have the TV table, just in case we all can't fit at the dining room table. There is a TV table down here, and this is where we keep our extra shoes. I don't have them in there right now, but Bob and I have some um, Crocs that we just keep in here. Those are strictly for the camper, and I do have an extra pair of tennis shoes just in case we ever go on a hike or want to do something and I haven't brought my tennis shoes, that goes in there. And that's really all I have in there for now. Okay. So down here, this is underneath um, the U dinette. All three sections of the U dinette have storage underneath. The two ends have the drawers on the end. Here I have just put um, some of our games, a little dust buster type thing that I have and some extra stuff that I bought that I wasn't sure if I was gonna use it or not, but you never know, so we just throw it in there. The seats, the cushions come off. There's a piece of plywood that you take off and then you could have access from the top if you need to, and that is for all three sections. This one down here is empty right now because a lot of the stuff that was out on the kitchen counters, this is my storage unit for all that stuff when we are packing up to hit the road. So down here, this is underneath the fridge. Um, the first grand design, we looked at an Imagine years ago and I was so excited because they used to do the dog bowl and water bowl, but this unit didn't come with it. It's not a big deal. He just has his bowl over by the door. But I do keep the placemats and these are just some extra tablecloths whether we need to use them here or at a picnic table at whatever site we're at. I do have smell good soap, just cause. All right guys, this is the bathroom. Um, we did have a pop-up before, so we're kind of used to the toilet. Um, to be honest with you, we can do number two now. We didn't do it in the pop-up, so that's kind of like a huge plus. The huge plus for me is the shower. Yes, the camper that we had before had a shower. However, it was just the little curtain that you kind of pulled. I had longer hair at the time. It just wasn't feasible between trying to wash my hair and shave my legs. It wasn't happening. I would always go to the bathroom wherever we were. However, my husband, he could take the shower in the pop-up, no big deal. In here, I just have a 3M hook for our sponges. We've got, um, it comes with, it's a standard shower, so it comes with these little shelves. We've got some shampoo. Um, I don't do the bar soap. It's a little bit hard to try to put it somewhere so it doesn't get mushy, nasty. Um, so we just have some liquid soap, some face cleaner. This is the storage that it comes with. Um, I did watch some different videos and um, the folding technique so I could get more towels in there. So these are three high towels and three deep. So there are a lot of towels, but you just never know. So we've got towels here, towels here. These are washcloths, hand towels, just a regular towel. There's more regular towels down below. And then these are beach towels. I do have six beach towels that go here. This is just a little hair turban Madison or I can use when we get out of the shower to wrap up our hair so we don't use an extra full-size towel. Go. And then these little towels, um, I have to give credit to my mother-in-law. She did find them and she got them for us, so shout out to my mother-in-law. Thank you. Just kind of throw these up for the video. I will say it's decoration. I really don't have them up. I just usually have a hand towel here. That's what we wash our hands, dry our hands, wipe our face, whatever. Um, this is the medicine cabinet. I had been taking out the toothbrushes and would lay it out here, but now that I have this set up, I kind of think I like the cleaner, more simpler look. So we're going to try leaving the toothbrushes in here, but I've got toothbrushes, toothpaste, the super floss, the little dental picks, um, little cups, because the sink is kind of hard to get down and get some water to scoop it into your mouth, Q-tips, deodorant, face stuff, cotton swabs.
down here these are just a white version of those peach trays that you saw over there and this is where I just kind of put hodgepodge stuff some extra shampoo and conditioners um, this here is our little medicine whether it's headache gas whatever you've got I probably have medicine in there for you um, suntan lotion Madison likes to paint nails regular lotion air freshener and then that's some um, extra toothbrushes razors for Madison and I to use while we take a shower and a nail brush if our nails ever get dirty this is down below the bathroom picked up this I'm pretty sure it was at uh, Camping World I'll double check though figured it was a good thing to put the hair dryer our brush and comb to be honest with you we've yet to use the hair dryer but we have it just in case down here we have the happy camper we tried it out this camping trip we really did like it it does break down the stuff in the black tank a lot better doesn't work as well as the scent so we have to come up with something whether we use this and one of those little pods to help with the odor but we really do like the happy camper it's a lot easier for Bob to mess with the black tank just some extra lotion our first aid kick kit sorry I did pick up a bin in here. I have all of our bug spray. We do live in Florida, so yes, that is all bug spray that's over there. Some extra girly products, uh, Q-tips, extra hand soap, body wash. We did not, for the toilet paper, we did not use the toilet paper holder that comes with the camper. I was afraid that between the dog or one of us hitting it, it just didn't have a really good spot to put it. So I happened to found, find this at Ross Marshall's, one of those places, and it works perfectly. I'm able to have all the extra toilet paper. It's within reach when you're sitting on the commode if you're using it. So we went that route instead of the toilet paper holder that comes with the rig. So this is the master bedroom and we've done a couple of different things to it not really we did change out the mattress so when we first got our mattress everybody said oh you need to throw it away get a new one we're like you're crazy you spent all this money like it'll be okay yeah no I know why they now say they get rid of the mattress we did it for three nights and then when we went home I was like okay we've got to do something so we did go with the lull mattress this is in no way sponsored by them um, I just happened to watch a video of an, another YouTube who was actually loving life as Megan she had back problems and she uses this bed so I was like yeah why not we'll try it so we did I even got one for our house so we have low mattresses here and at the house Turned off. so in here this is um, one of the closets there is a closet on either side it's kind of tight quarters so I'm just gonna stay in this little section what you see on this side is the same thing that's in that closet over there again it's just one of these little shelving units that was in the closet up by the front just throw it in here it comes in handy um, usually socks and undergarments go here Sh shorts shirts go there and then we're good to go it's coming come in handy handy and again we do live in Florida so shorts are pretty much a uniform I guess you should say is the best way because it's so hot usually 24 7 365 days a year so shorts are a staple down, down here is a cubby on Bob's side there's not really a whole lot in there um, I do have chargers on either side for us so that way I don't have to worry about packing them from the house to here his side does have just the two outlet the only thing that's different on the other side is there is a dual USB port up above um, this comes in handy Bob um, when we're camping his CPAP machine does go on this side it's not that big of a deal it fits nice right here we do lay out that green cloth just in case it were to ever leak preventative his CPAP machine goes here that's what this hook is for up here is once he wakes up he just hooks it up so it's not laying around falling on the floor getting stepped on or anything like that all right guys that was it for our camper we really like it Worst case scenario, if we ever had to, we could live in it. You never know what's going to happen. We've tried to make it as functional as possible for us. There is at least always three people and a dog with us. So 
Hope you guys liked it. Hope you got, guys got some ideas. If you have any questions or have any different ideas or what stuff that you've done to yours, let me know. I'm always looking for new stuff. Always looking for ways to spend money. Bob loves it. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.